what's going on bird nation welcome to episode number two of our pokemon platinum nuzlocke last episode we had our hour of power premiere uh where we got our starter start our Sinnoh region we got all kinds of encounters last episode uh so i'm gonna go through a quick team recap and we'll just dive right into the episode we're gonna be going through route 203 onto orberg uh orberg city right now we're in jubilife and we'll be taking out the first gym over in Orberg. That'll probably be next episode. So lucky enough, our Thursday premiere will probably uh, take on the gym leader. Um, depending on how quickly we can get through this route today. So let's go ahead and get through this team recap real quick. So I can show you guys the Pokemon that we picked up in our first episode. Uh, so we got, of course, our starter Mavs, the Piplup level 12. Um, we picked up Jenny, the Badoo level 6. Sean, level 8. And Syntha, uh, the Shinx, at level 4. I'm telling you, Bidoof is going to be a beast. I saw that it learns Headbutt at level 17. So, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> and if we can evolve Jenny before level 16, because Roselia learns Magical Leaf at level 16, that would be great. Jenny evolves through, like, friendship. So, hopefully we can get uh, Jenny to evolve pretty early. And then, of course, Shinx is just a great Pokemon. Um, I think we're forming a pretty good team here. So why don't we go ahead and just dive right in. Uh, we're going to be heading into Route 203 today. Going to be taking on some trainers here. And then heading into Orberg, uh, Orberg City. I think we get we should be getting two encounters today. I think there's like a cave up here. Uh, we already got our encounter here for Route 203, which was Shinx. Alright, speaking of, who should we be leveling up? Alright, I have Jenny up front right now. Let me swap, Jenny. Sean, are you able to take out this Krikatot? Okay. Sean, do it to... <laughs> Yo, what just happened? What just happened? All right, I'm swapping out. Yo, watch out for Krikatot, I guess. Whew. That was sketchy. Uh, why don't we go ahead and throw Syntha out there and start getting some levels on our Shinx. And I think Shinx, uh, learns its first electric move at level 17. So, Matt, we're gonna, we're gonna need Mavs to carry us here for a little bit. So, the, it's definitely gonna start off slow. Oh, we're confused! The Zubit! No, Zubit, don't do this to us. Do not do this to us. Oh, we're so close. All right, awesome. Honestly, probably already want to heal up. <laughs> After our first battle. Nurse Joy, we need you. Oh, this speed up button is a blessing. All right, I'm trying to make it through this route with no casualties today. This is the plan. <coughs> oh, I see a Pokeball up there. I'm grabbing that. All right, what do we got? Pokeball? Literally what I just said. All right, let's take on the next trainer here. Let's see what you got. I'm probably gonna be using the speed up button a little bit more this episode. That way we can kind of cruise this cruise through this route a little bit quicker, and that way we can take on the gym leader next episode. Ooh, Shinx. All right, I probably don't want to keep keep a do out here. It doesn't have any electric type moves yet, so I should be able to swap Mavs in with no problems. Oh, nice. All right. All right, we're just cruising right along. All right, what do you got? A Machop? I'm probably going to swap Syntha up front after this battle. Probably don't want to swap Sean in since Sean is a normal type. Oh, and yeah, that low kick would have probably destroyed Sean if we would have done that. So this thing already has low kick. Is low. I should outspeed. And I, 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 I the quick claw, the qu <laughs> the quick claw, <laughs> the quick claw popped. I thought we outsped, but either way, we're good with the quick claw. All right. Before we go any further, actually, you know what? Before, in, instead of wasting potions, let's just go back to the Pokemon Center since it's like right here. Run. That way. 
We can conserve our resources. We're going to definitely need as many potions as we possibly can keep. Oops. Nope. Don't want to heal a second time. All right. I'm hoping we get a good encounter in this upcoming cave here. I'm pretty sure there's like a little path uh, between this route and Orberg. And we might be able to get like a ground side like Geodude or something like that. Or it'll probably be like Zubat. Like, <laughs> no one are like, it'll probably be like Zubat. Like, whenever you walk in a cave in Pokemon, you just get attacked by Zubat. Uh, Bidoof? Yo, Bidoof versus Bidoof. Ours is much stronger. I'm telling you guys, you're sleeping on Bidoof, but many episodes from now, when we're taking on Cynthia, the champion, our Babarel is going to be there with us, and uh, <laughs> he's going to take us all the way. Starly? Uh, we can probably stay in. Level 4? Yeah, we can stay in. Oh, one hit. KO. You guys see that? You see that? That's sh that's the power of Sean. <laughs> Defense curl on who? Uh, am I switching? Absolutely not. That tackle does so much because of the stab. The st same type attack boost. We should be able to body this um, Abra too. Dude, look at Sean go. All right, something I need to do real quick. All right, let's run. Let's pull up our Pokemon. I want to put Cynthia up front and start getting our Shinx leveled up. I think that's important. I think everybody at level 10 would have me pretty comfortable. So, I mean, Sean's almost there. Sean's a level 9. Jenny's level 8. So, they're almost there. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's throw Sean up front. We'll get Sean to level 10. And then once we get Sean to level 10, we'll throw Jenny up front and get Jenny to level 10. And then we'll get Cynthia to level 10. And we'll just kind of... We'll kind of do it that way. Ooh, Psyduck. Gotta watch out for Psyduck. I'm telling you. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Definitely healing. Definitely healing. That speed up button will get me sometimes. I'm telling you. Alright, that should... That should heal us full. We already have 30 HP. That's pretty bulky for this early on. All right, Badoo. Show them how it is. There we go. Almost level 10. Let's just body this Abra real quick. Oh, it, it teleported on us. X defend. Yo, we can sell those. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We're definitely going to need a lot of cash. Yo, I'm cool with repels as well. Actually, I checked the mart before we started the episode. They don't have repels. So, that repel will probably come in handy. Um, all the dire hits, X speeds, things like that. I'll definitely sell those. Because we're going to need as many potions as we can get. Alright, let me just take out this Starly so I can get this thing to level 10. Yeah! Alright, and we're going to put Jenny up front. And we'll get Jenny up to level 10. Honestly, I'm pretty sure we're already done with the route. How many uh, minutes are we in? Eight minutes. Yeah, we cruise through that route. All right, why don't we just go ahead and give another potion to... Uh, uh, where's my medicine? I think I passed it. <laughs> Let's give another potion to Sean. And we'll head on into this cave. We're actually... We'll be getting an encounter, the Orberg Gate... Let me write this down here. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure this guy here... I think he gives us... Okay, yeah, he gives us Rock Smash. HM06. Uh, but the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use the hidden move Rock Smash. Alright, so, we can't use Rock Smash until we get our first gym badge... Um, however, we can still get our encounter, so let's do that. And survey says eventually, do do do, it's a Zubat. All right, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. You guys know last episode, I actually said if we did get a Zubat, I was gonna name it uh, Masonator because we call it Masonator Batman because he's always lurking, dropping bombs, uh, donation bombs, and whatnot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and name this Masonator. Looks like it's a level five. All right, let's see if we can catch this thing. I'm not going to keep Jenny in there. 
Let's go ahead and who should we swap it to? Uh, because it's probably gonna do a leech life, which would be super effective. Okay, and all we know is absorb. That's not gonna do too much. Sean will probably kill with a tackle. Mavs will probably kill with a uh, any type of move as well. Maybe we throw Cinta out there. Because this thing shouldn't be able to hurt uh, Shanks too much, honestly. Alright. I think that's good. I think that's good. Alright. Throw out that Pokeball. Any, any more... Any more leech lights from this thing? I'm definitely going to heal up Cynthia for sure. But I think we should catch this. Yes! All right. Heck yeah. I'm definitely going to add that to the team. So we'll drop... Boom. We'll drop uh, that Zubat down in the layout below. Welcome to the team, Masonator. I honestly love Crobat. So I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. All right. Mason. Mason Ator. All right. And enter. Welcome to the team. All right. Let's go ahead and take on these trainers now. And we'll get Jenny up to level uh, level 10. All right. We're starting to form a little bit of a team here. Um, Jenny is grass poison. So we do have two poison types. But we still have that flying type in Zubat. And flying will definitely be... Super handy for Grass-type Pokemon. Alright. Uh, ooh, we definitely don't want to stay in here. Uh, who can we go out to? Let's go out to Sean. Dude, Sean is a beast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you monster. Alright, level 9 on Jenny there. Heck yes. Uh, let's swap Jenny back in. Shinx, uh, we probably don't want to stay in. Why don't we throw Mavs out there? Mavs is already level 13. Ooh, about to evolve soon enough. I'm cool with that. I think it evolves at level 16. I think. I'll have to look that up. It might be different. All right, we're just moseying right along. Um, How are my mods doing on health here? Oopsie. I think we should be okay for this last battle. And then we head into Orberg City. We should be able to heal up. Alright, just one Pokemon. We should be good. Ooh, it's a powerful Bidoof, though. Never sleep on this thing, man. I'm telling you. Ooh, it used Growl. My attack fell. Okay, I'm alright with that. Alright, there we go. Mavs took care of that, no problem. Alright, let's head on into Orberg City. Yo, only 13 minutes in. We are making some pretty good time. Yo, howdy, trainer. Ha <laughs> ha! You don't have a single gym badge? You'd better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. <laughs> Alright, I guess... I guess we're getting a little tour of the city here. Yo, it's James! Huh? There's someone there. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's Burb! You finally got here. You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously, serious. <laughs> seriously, serious. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off uh, to the coal mine. Uh, if you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. Alright, so um, it looks like James isn't going to move unless we go to the mine and see... I don't remember what the gym leader's name is. I think it's Rourke. Something like that. I'm pretty sure it's like Rourke. Something of this sort. Um, honestly, what we'll do is... Next episode, we can explore the city and then take on the gym leader. So why don't we go ahead and heal up real quick. And then we'll just dive right into the mine. Actually, why don't we hit up the Mart as well? That way, we can grab some supplies. Any other potions that we might need. Anything like that. Alright, let's see what we got. Actually, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and sell the... Uh... 
what was it like a dire hit i think or x attack oh we got a couple things we got an x attack uh x accuracy and x defend yes please all right, and let's see what we can get. Um, just potions and pokeballs for now. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and buy another handful of potions here? That'll give us ten if we buy an additional six. I, I'm cool with that. And pokeballs, we have eight. We could buy another five. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We'll buy another five. And we have like four thirty-two. Why not buy another potion just for good measure? Why not? We already have antidotes and paralyzed heals, so we're good. We're good. Alright, let's head south into the mine. And find the gym leader. That way we can take on the gym. And I'm pretty sure we can get encounters in the mine. I do see a Pokeball over there, and I want to check that out. Yo, what's up, dude? Oh, a dire hit. Yeah, we can sell that, too. And a yellow shard. I'm not sure what the yellow shard does. Alright. Into the mine we go. Alright, Orberg Mine. Let me write this down. I honestly think that you can like only get Onyx in here. I feel like there's like only one Pokemon you can get in here or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what these peeps are up to. Alright, nothing important. Let's head on down. Oopsie. Oh, okay. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a dupe. So, um, this is where we activate what we call dupes or, um, species claws. Actually, let me pull up the rules. I have the rules. Actually, I won't pull up the rules. Never mind. <laughs> the rules will be in the description. If you guys look down below, I will have the, the rules in the description every episode. Um, if we are, if we run into a Pokemon that we already have caught, so we Pokemon that we already have on our team, or that's already on our box, or Pokemon that might have already died on our team, um, we can choose to skip that encounter and encounter again. So we're gonna run. Oh, are just kidding? Because it's not letting us run. All right, let me swap. So what we can do is, we can re-encounter until we get something other than a Zubat, since we already have a Zubat. Uh, if that's possible. This is my, this might be where we want to use the Repel. Wait, do any of these guys battle us? We might be, okay. Oh, wait, they do. Okay, just kidding. A Geo dude. This will be perfect for Jenny. Jenny should be able to one-hit KO that no problem. Actually, that's kind of that's an encounter that I want. I want a Geo dude. That's what we need. That is what we need. Yo, Jenny level 10. Alright. Now that we have Jenny at level 10, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Cynthia up here. Start leveling Cynthia up. Doing a little switch training. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, we get an Onyx. All right, so I know that Onyx usually has kind of like a high catch rate. So this might be kind of hard to catch. So Onyx is our encounter. And it is a level 9. All right, let's see if we can catch this Onyx. Now, Jenny, when it used Absorb against... Geo dude, it didn't kill, so it shouldn't kill Onyx at level nine, which is a higher level too. So I think we're okay. <laughs> oh, just kidding! Oh no! <laughs> oh shoot, Rip! Oh my goodness! Can we get an F in the comment section for that one? <laughs> um, oops! Yikes! Oh goodness! Well, I'm sorry, Onyx. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to be honest. Onyx isn't the greatest Pokemon. It literally only has like a 40 base attack. And we did gain a level from it. So I guess that's the good side of it. I should have realized. I should have realized. What was I doing? <laughs> Using Absorb. <laughs> Four times effective. It's alright. Oh, yo. Speaking of, here's the gym leader. We found him. That was pretty easy. 
<laughs> okay, stand back and watch this. <laughs> Using the hit and move rock smash, a boulder blocking your way. <laughs> smash! Fallen boulders need to be smashed. <laughs> so they're... <laughs> I can't speak today. So they're out of the way. If you could get that badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Aren't you the gym leader? Of course, you'd have to be the gym leader first. <laughs> That'd be me. All right, I guess that's him. See, yo, we could have got a Geodude. <laughs> I'd have been all right with a Geodude. But we accidentally killed our poor Onyx instead. Oh, we have another battle. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's throw Jenny out there. Jenny should be able to take care of business. Nice. One hit KO. Look at Jenny go. I'm telling you, Jenny's already becoming a beast. All right, Machop. Huh. Machop. Why don't we go out into Syntha so we can get the level. Or the uh, experience. And then we'll throw Mavs out there. Low kick. Oh, Mavs ate that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I kind of want to almost train up just so we can evolve Mavs. Escape rope. We could use that to get out of here, but that's... We're going to run out of here. And... See if we can get a little level up here, actually. Nice! Level 8. Okay. Alright, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Alright, let's head on out. 21 minutes in. Alright, perfect timing, too. I actually think we have time to explore the city, so that way next episode we can literally just start off with a, um, a gym battle. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we don't want to dive right into a gym battle. Maybe we want to grind a little bit. I might grind, like, in between episodes. I think that's what we'll do. We did miss out on our encounter for the Orberg Mine, but that's okay. We did get Zubat in the Orberg Gate. Um, We're all healed up. We're good. All right, so let's go ahead and explore the city a little bit. Yo, let's see. Uh, The gym should have opened up. Okay, we're good there. See if we can get any items from anybody here. Yes. I wonder if we can get an encounter to the north. I'll check. I will check. Because I did see that we could go north. Let's actually go look right now. Let's have a gander. Route to... Oh. Alright. We're getting an encounter. 207. Alright. Alright. Since we have a little time, 22 minutes, got a little time to get an encounter, maybe explore the city. Let's see what we get. Survey says... Yo, a fire type early on. I know a lot of people say that fire types are super hard to find in Sinnoh. Um, especially just because we're playing the straight up vanilla game, regular Pokemon Platinum. This isn't randomized or anything, just regular Pokemon Platinum. But yo, that is honestly a great encounter. Do not crit this tackle, Cynthia. Oh, it's faster than us. And it's a level 5. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Don't crit. Don't crit, don't crit. Okay, alright, I think we're good. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Yo, this is a really good encounter. No, stay in the Pokeball. It's probably going to be a higher catch rate because I feel like this might be like the rare encounter for this route. I'm actually going to swap into a bulkier Pokemon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, no, no, no. I take that back. I'm going to go into Jenny real quick. I don't think it knows any fire. No, actually, this is stupid. It probably does know a fire type move, even though it is level five. That's dumb. I'm swapping to Sean. Okay. Maybe it doesn't. It, it did tackle. Sean's a beast and shouldn't be able to eat any hits that Ponyta throws its way. So let's go ahead and start throwing Pokeballs. One, two, three, gotcha. Bingo, bango, bongo. Heck yes. All right, it is a male. We did catch it. All right, why don't I... I'm going to go ahead and pull up. I'm going to go ahead and pull up. 
uh, last episode. I know a couple of you actually commented on the video while it was premiering. You guys are awesome. If you guys want to be nicknamed after any of our Pokemon, um, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. That's your best chance to be nicknamed after one of these Pokemon. And if you really want to be prioritized to get nicknamed after a Pokemon, after your comment, do a hashtag nickname. And I'll definitely um, look for those, those hashtags in the comments, and I will try to pick you for a nickname. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the video here. Doo -doo -doo. All right, who do we have from last episode? Episode number one. Wow, you guys really killed it for last episode, too. Yo. Yo, my boy, Kick! I feel like that's a perfect name for, uh, like, a horse type of Pokemon, like a Ponyta, Rapidash, because it kicks. Yo, my buddy, his name is Kick It With You. Yo, let's name this thing Kick. Yo, that's an awesome nickname. Heck yes. Yo, thank you so much for the comment, my dude. Thank you. Yes, give Ponyta a nickname. Yo, welcome to the, key, uh, the team, Kick. Yo, that's a, honestly a really good encounter. Yo, Bwop, add that to the team down in the layout below. We have a full team of six. <laughs> Let's see what else we could have gotten. A Machop, that, would have been a, that wouldn't have been bad. But honestly, I'm cool with Ponyta. We need the fire type. I think the fire type is the way to go. Honestly, I don't want this thing to like low kick me and crit me. I'm just going to swap into Maz before we run. Because, uh, yeah, you never know with Pokemon. All right, I'm going to go heal up. Do do. Thank you, Nurse Joy. All right, and we have a little bit of time. I mean, we're like 26, almost 27 minutes in, but uh, this city is not that big. Um, I think I already went into that building. We can probably explore this city pretty quickly. I don't think there's too much to explore. Uh, we might get like, oh, it looks like there's a, something that we can trade here. Uh, a Machop. For an Abra. Okay, so if we would have caught that Machop, we could have traded for an Abra, but no worries. I'd much rather have a pony to name Kick. Anything up here? Nope. Alright, I think this last, this building over here is the last building in the city. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Do, do. Oh, wait, no, actually, I think there's a museum that we can go to. We'll check that out. Yeet. Oh, we got a dust ball. Okay, okay. This is why you got to talk to everybody. This is why you got to talk to everybody. That dust ball might come in, in handy, guys. You never know. All right. I think that's it. Yep. All right. So let's go over here. Looks like the uh, Orberg Mining Museum. Okay. Very cool. Oh, actually, there's a building over here. Let's check this out. Anything interesting in here? does not look like it. Oh, a great ball. Like I said, guys, it it is beneficial to speak to everybody. You never know. You never know. And we got the quick claw pretty early on, which we have on Mavs, by the way, which is super handy. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the museum. See if there's any goodies in here. How coal is made one. In a time long before history, vegetative matter was swept along by rain and rivers. It came uh, it came to be buried under the ground. Ah, oh, the story of coal. Okay, the coal museum. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's anything in here, though. Here, let's talk to the receptionist peoples. Actually, I think we can um, revive our fossils here. Okay. So if we do end up getting a fossil, I think we can bring it here. 
All right. Well, I think that's pretty much everything um, in Orberg. We got uh, we got over to Rorik. We got two, actually three encounters for this episode. Uh, so over in Orberg Gate, we got Zubat, um, Masonator, our homie, Batman. <laughs> um, he's added to the team. Route uh, 207, just north of Orberg. We got Ponyta, level five, which is now Kick. And... The Orberg mine, we did unfortunately accidentally kill the Onyx we encountered. So, rip Onyx. Um, if you guys do want to try to, you know, um, get your chance to be named after uh, a Pokemon in this series, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, if you did enjoy the episode, smash that like button for me, guys. Uh, but without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode. Our next episode will be on Thursday. We will be premiering the episode and we'll be taking on our very first gym. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one. Peace.